You will never be a crawl hero. You will never be able to use magic. You will never be a snake human hybrid. You will never have a cutie pie snake waifu. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Uh, this is part five of a Naga Wanderer of Ellie. Uh, as you saw from the beginning, I'm here to aid the weak. Uh, in the last episode, we did this volcano without any RF, which went surprisingly well for how afraid I was. Uh, we can ditch some of these extra things that we've picked up, though. Uh, so we're going to try to finish off Lair in this episode. And before we do that... Uh, so Lissy, I never know if it's Lissy or Litchy. Or is this? Oh, that's got to be guarded by the ghost, right? Yeah. We can maybe do that now. Now that we have RF. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to pick up the ring mail that has Aralek and minus Telly on it. There's a super niche use case for this. So say we've got a labyrinth where you're not allowed to teleport. <laughs> so the minus telly wouldn't really matter uh, but one of the rooms had electric themed monsters in it could be useful I mean that's kind of unlikely but who knows so that ghost was on D9 or D10 D10 I think I lost it where are you ghost D9 you were there where were you Where's the ghost room? Okay, let me search for ring again. This is really embarrassing. Shimmering ring. Oh, I'm on D8 right now. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Speaking of aiding the weak. All right, so this is a ghost. It's a, oh yes, the white draconian fire elementalist feels really bad, man. Um, has fire spells, can only hit for eight, so it's really just its spells that pose an issue. And then these, the melee simulacrum is kind of scary. So we've got RF and we can get, I'll see if we put the ring of ice on. So I'm, I'm going to give this a go. This is maybe a bit crazy. Um, well, these guys are going to be fastest, so I think I might start off with the ring of protection from ice on instead of magic. And I'm half tempted to throw out a wand of clouds, but it's probably not going to do anything actually. Poison, mephitic, and ice all won't hurt. It would only do anything if I got fire, so no point. Alright, I regret my decisions. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can constrict now. Can you constrict ghosts? Actually, I need to be really careful, yeah, because as soon as this guy steps in front of the simulacrum, we now need to have RF again. So let's take our Ring of Ice off. Um, we might need to use heals here, we'll see. Turns out you can't constrict ghosts. Fair enough. Uh, because once you do get constrict up on your nuggets, uh, you do significantly more damage to enemies. But yeah, if you can't constrict, that doesn't mean much. Ring of Ice goes back on here. Okay. Um, simulacrums are okay. We can constrict those. Alright, so we get a new ring. We get three more cloud charges. We find out what this is. A ring of protection from fire. Well, how timely. <laughs> uh, if only we'd done this before the volcano, everything would have been much easier. Although, in that case, we wouldn't have had RF to fight the ghost either. So, I guess that either way, it wouldn't have worked. Back to the lair. What are we training? A bit of spellcasting, inverse stealth, fighting long blades. Alright, seems fine. We've got death yaks again. Um, I think at this point now, oh, we probably can't constrict them. Or oh, can we? I think we can constrict death yaks. So these guys, oh, they're very large. Okay, no, we won't be able to. I was going to say, I think they're large, which means regular sized species can't constrict, but uh, 
Nagas are considered large, so they can constrict other large monsters. But yeah, if this is very large, that won't work. Uh, you can only you can constrict things the same size as you or smaller, but not bigger. So, for instance, an octopod can't constrict large monsters, but a naga can. Uh, blink frogs, these are fine. We're just gonna pepper them with vapors. And yeah, I should be a bit careful because f fighting packs of death yaks, I don't think we're really capable of. I, I want to get attention of just one at a time though. It's the downside of being really stealthy is that <laughs> it's hard to get anything to notice you. <laughs> notice me, senpais. There we go. Ah, oh, right, you can poison vapors it. I was about to say, these guys are our poison, but they're not. It's just that they're. They're so tanky that it seems like you never kill them with poison. So I just feel like they're poison resistant when in reality they're not. And we're just going to keep doing this. Um, we should get that leg. Oh, we're slowing down. Why are we doing that? Because I didn't put the protection from magic ring back on. My bad. Let's have that on. We don't need to have two pips of RF, although, no we can't. So let's see the Komodo Dragon. So it is large, so yeah, a, an octopode wouldn't be able to constrict this, but we can. Yeah, cool. Um, a Hydra. Well, we've learned that we can fight these guys. Yeah, too easy. Yeah, at this point in the game, or from now on, uh, Nagas are pretty strong. So you're still always slow, but... Oh, nice, we've got Spire's Nest. That's really good, considering we have Poisonous Vapors and Innate our Poison. Oh, wow, that hurt. Alright, got him. Yeah, because all the spiders are susceptible to poison. So what was I trying to say? Yeah. The longer your game goes, the stronger you get as a Naga because your bonus AC from your skin keeps going up and up and up. The fact that you have high HP uh, gets stronger and then once you you start overcoming these crappy aptitudes here, the defensive ones, your armor, your dodging shields, etc. and you get your defenses up, you do a lot of damage. Oh sorry, you don't take much and then because you have constriction you also do a lot of damage. So you're actually quite powerful. It's just the early game is really bad. You don't have the resources or the strength to overcome being really slow. Uh, apparently I don't have that at the moment either. We might need to do a major heal here. We'll see how we go. These guys can hit for 30. Yeah, so we can take a couple more hits. Um, I feel like maybe it's probably too late now, but it might have been a good idea once three to four yaks had seen us and we knew to do a song of slaying because we'd have three extra slaying right now at least spellcasting to four. Um, I'm gonna do a minor heal, and by that I mean a lesser heal, and again. Okay, now I'm going to a greater heal. The lesser heal is more efficient in terms of piety to healing ratio. Um, but if we're about to die, then that sort of goes out the window. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I knew it would be really rough fighting multiple death yaks at once. Uh, we'll find just doing one at a time, but yeah. Can we stab this guy? No. But man, we kill we kill them really quickly. Let's ID these potions. That's resistance. I don't remember if we picked that up in the volcano. Uh, Ring of flight. Meh. Nah. We have potions? No, we don't. Yeah, meh. Nah. It's alright. Um, flight is not such a big deal for a Naga, so 
Again, because you're considered a large species, uh, you still move slower through water, through shallow water, but you don't get the penalty to your attacks where you can fumble them and miss. Uh, that's true of a centaur as well. Nice. Um, yeah, this looks like a decent time to sing. So we, we're in a nice choke point here. So we get to fight one at a time. We get to constrict them. Yeah, unlike an octopode, you only get to uh, constrict one enemy at a time as a Naga. But you see that we end up with seven extra slaying. So yeah, I don't know. There's, there's so much hate thrown at Song of Sling because there's a very widespread belief that all noise is always bad. But for someone like me who's used to sirens all the time or aeroplanes all the time, like I'm pretty used to noise. It doesn't bother me much. So I know that if you use noise in situations where you actually want to fight enemies, it's a benefit, not a detriment. Like you saw there, where we had a nice choke point to fight things one at a time. I think this looks like another one. So we're going to sing again. Uh, that was a Murphic avatar. I kind of want to get here in this hallway. So the elephant trampling us put us in a bit of a rough situation in the open there. Yeah, they do that. That's, that's the problem with elephants. You can get great positioning in a choke point and then the elephant just doesn't care pushes you out of it oh that's too many reach level 14 okay I sort of ran in hoping to be able to uh, stab that first one not expecting there to be three merfolk all sitting there look how much damage we're doing with this scimitar and with Constrict as well, we're just cutting through these frogs like butter. <laughs> We've got Waywinkle's Ghost and Kaowen's Ghost. Um, <laughs> with one piece of bread and a fear scroll. So Waywinkle is a Spriggan Enchanter who's got only a 7% chance to confuse us. Um, and a million evasion. <laughs> Although it says normal, it's in brackets and then it says normal EV. I don't know what that means. And then this one is Kaywin's Ghost is a null scout of Okawaru with a bunch of spells that don't affect us but can hit for 50 damage. Okay. I don't want to fight the ghost that hits for 50 damage. So I think we're Xing this out and never coming back again. Maybe at a much later time when we're a lot stronger. Um, I'm confident. <laughs> uh, we reached five for our spell casting. Let's have a, a check. Um, yeah, I don't really care about spell hunger much. That's not really why I was training it. Although it was a little bit just because it's annoying how hungry we get every time. Uh, there's our stealth to 14. That kind of feels like enough. I mean, I know that plus 5 aptitude is amazing, but let's get our weapon to Mindalay and let's start getting some armor and dodging up, perhaps. Um, 14 stealth is probably fine to avoid lots of monsters without going too crazy. Uh, that's wizardry. We don't need that. We've got a staff of wizardry if we really do need a boost. And we don't have any difficult spells that we're looking to cast anyway. Oh yeah, Poisonous Vapors, the spell owns when you can cast it. We just miscast it twice, why? 12% chance. It's unlikely. <laughs> Where'd that yak go? <laughs> Uh, new potion, that's fine. We don't have any identify. I 
All right. Yeah. So I, I've just, I just realized last episode that with Ellie, we're not allowed to use. Oh, hey, we got teleport trapped. Let's quickly get out of the the Oclob range there uh, and go to a new stair. Yeah. So I always forget when I'm playing Good Gods that you're not allowed to use demon weapons. So we're holding these brand weapons for what I said. Uh, for when I said we're looking for either. Uh, a demon blade or a double sword, but we're not allowed to use demon blades, so there's not really much point saving it for one of those. Uh, let's not fight two hydras at once. Um, I'm going to try to pacify the one in the back. All right, I think we got him. Yeah, he turned neutral. All right, we're fine. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, double swords are extremely rare, so maybe there's some argument to be made for using the brand weapon scrolls sooner rather than later. This looks really bad, but I'm not actually afraid of dying to these elephants. Um, if we're going to, I'll just heal. Who dies? <laughs> dying. <laughs> I just keep waking up when we're one tile away, so then we don't get to stab it, and then I don't have time to do spectral weapons. It's like the worst of both worlds. Um, so we found out that we don't have swamp, right? Yeah, we have that other thing. Uh, what is the other thing? Um, shoals. Yeah, I wanted that food. <laughs> okay, no <never> mind. <laughs> Uh, so we don't need a flaming weapon for hydras uh, once we've cleared the lair and there is we have another scimitar of flaming right there was one in the there was one in the volcano but I didn't carry it out so I didn't think about it but oh no it could top of us um, the point I'm trying to make is that maybe we should brand weapon our scimitar once we've finished the lair um, try to get an Alex Scimitar because that's stronger. I don't know. May also, maybe not, but yeah, I don't know. Um, Ketopopuses are really bad when you're in Naga because you're slow. So, when they shoot you with the dust, you have to move out of it. Uh, what they can do is potentially hit you with dust again, so you need to move, and because you're slow, then it attacks you does damage to you and then does dust again so you have to keep moving to try to get out of the dust without ever killing it and then taking damage I'm trying to think you can't poisonous vapors yourself I wish you could uh, maybe we we don't have mephitic cloud right no if you could poisonous vapors yourself I would do it because clouds can't stack so we'd stand in our own poison cloud that we're resistant to and then it wouldn't be able to hit us with the calcifying one all right well we're doing it yep this is this is the little dance that you do um, well I may as well poisonous vapors the crocodile in the back There's a potion of flight we were talking about earlier, and a potion of invis. There, there have been a lot of hydras. I feel very lucky that we've had this scimitar of flaming. Uh, wouldn't have been the end of the world because, as a long blades user, you can always use short blades fairly handily, and those don't chop hydra heads. Um, I think let's drop our hand crossbow. If we want to switch back to, uh, no, I'll just drop, I'll drop the brand weapon stuff. We can come back and get that if we need it. Uh, change of plans. Let's drop our staves. <laughs> there you go. Um, I have not been bothered to use the staff of poison for high damage.
poisonous vapors anyway, so no biggie. How are the monsters so smart? I got in the choke point here, some went up, some went down. <laughs> They're evolving. <laughs> Normally the monsters are pretty dumb. Yeah, this Nagi damage is great. <laughs> uh oh, death yaks. Hang on, we need to fight one at a time again. Uh oh, that's two of them. Okay, looks like we're fighting two at a time. Yeah. Even just two, we then lose half our HP. And another Hydra. I'm curious. I'm going to do question mark hash. I want to know how many Hydras we've fought because it feels like a lot. 11 Hydras. Oh man. Imagine if you were playing a troll, how salty you'd be. We have even more clouds. 12. The game's trying to trick me into wanting to train our vacations. But I won't be fooled because I know that if I train evocations, it might make the entire one of clouds unusable with Ellie. Um, there's a box of beasts. She doesn't care about those. It's only Zin that cares, I think. Um, this could be a few different layer endings. We just got paralyzed. That's always fun. Um, even when you are poison resistant you can still get paralyzed by the hornets. It's only if you're poison immune that you're 100% immune. So there are a few different lair endings that have these sort of forest endings. One is the boggit one. Okay, that's what this is. So this is going to have spriggans and boggits. That one's fine. I was thinking there's also one where you have uh, an entrance to hell and another one where what is the other one? Or maybe those are the only two. Um, I want to pacify the dream sheep. I really don't want to go to sleep in this position. Um, and I think we should definitely be singing the number of enemies that we fought in here. We could have a whole bunch of bonus slay. What other one has the this forest? I think it might just be those two. The hell one and the Boggit one. Boggit Spriggan one. Alright, let's back up. They're just plain bucklers. I was hoping they'd be magical. Uh oh. Alright, the Spriggans nosed us. Okay, well the scary rider didn't come. That was the one I was most afraid of. If that one came, we might have used one of clouds there. Actually, we can probably pacify Spriggans. Let me check. 77% chance. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, the reason I was thinking you couldn't is because normally when you're thinking about hexes, Spriggans have really high MR, but pacify doesn't use MR. So we could get them, it turns out. Alright, so this, this is not too scary of a vault when we have 70% chance to pacify the most dangerous enemies in here. Let's sing again. Uh, we can also constrict them. So the Spriggans rely on being evasive, but we just hug them to death. <laughs> Very wholesome. Let's make sure we're doing poisonous vapors on the boggit when we can. Uh, we want him to die because he's going to spam lair enemies. Oh, there's a new one. Yeah, like that. A million dream sheep. And yeah, we got. And a. A torpor snail. <laughs> um. He's still got quite a bit of HP on him. So when we're potentially about to go to sleep here and we're slowed, I think we shouldn't mess around with this. I think we just either, no, I don't even want a greater heal. I think we just try to pacify the bog at 80% chance. We got that, okay. 
and not too long ago that play wouldn't have been a good one because he would have turned neutral but all his summons would have still been hostile but it's a fairly good change that actually um, happened because I kept complaining about it <laughs> um, uh, now when monsters change alignment so if they become um, allies or they become neutral or their summons disappear because there used to be some really wonky behavior like for instance when you I don't know if you ever saw my slime troll run um, I used slimeify with Jiva on an ancient lich so the ancient lich in Zot 5 turned into a jelly but its summoned fiend stayed there and you also got funky things like with your red when you enslaved soul uh, you would get the like the undead spectral version of the enemy you enslaved but then its summons would still be hostile and attacking you and also bio conversion that was another really weird one you would convert the high priest and all its summoned demons would keep fighting you in it but yeah so that that's a really good change nice quality of life um, so that's our lair done um, what? There was something I wanted to do, but I've already forgotten. Oh well, I guess we just go straight to Orc. We've got our protection from Magic Ring on, so we shouldn't need to be too afraid of Paralysis. Is there a digging wand anywhere? No. I imagine that. I keep imagining that we've seen items in this game that clearly never have happened. The thing I would like to find in Orc is a regular shield oh this is so many enemies i wish we had Olgrib's toxic radiance right now that's way too many enemies all right we're just going to be stair dancing this until the end of time so we're just going to go up and down the stairs pulling enemies with us breaking them up because uh, this mostly just looks like volume of enemies i haven't seen anything too scary Oh, I like how Repost gives us a free constriction. That's handy. Although I'd kind of, yeah, like my constriction to be on the high priest. Uh, yeah, that was kind of dangerous. Dagger of speed, nah. Reach level 15, we're going more int. I mean, if I'd been going strength all this time, maybe we could have been um, still casting these spells in, say, a plate armor or a really quite heavy one. But we've been going in. So, too late. Evocable Shop. None of these are really exciting. The Fan of Gales can be a nice tool as a slow naga to get an enemy off you at a stair. But with no evocations training, it's very weak. He has a leather armor of magic resistance. Um, I wonder if we want that. Probably not. Um, I just have to remember, maybe by the time we get to Orc, we won't have found more magic resistance and we'll want a third pit. Oh hey, we got shafted. That's real nice. Fortunately, we're near this upstair. That could have been super nasty. We've only got two teleportation scrolls which is horrible for Naga. And if we're just being shafted into the end vault here on the Orcish Mines too, uh, we could have been in for a world of pain. Here's an armor shop. This might have the shield we're after. It does indeed for 144 gold. Um, do we just insta buy that? I think so. All right, let's, let's just put that on. So we go from four shield Up to eight. Uh, it's gonna mess with our spells for a bit. So spectral weapon goes to thirty-six percent chance. Um, our long blades are off because we made it to Mindalay. Um, let's turn off invocations and fighting for the moment. This might be the first time in history that you've ever seen me do this, but I'm gonna train a single shield, uh, a single skill with shields. Um, and I think we need to go to nine because we're considered large. Yep, 9 to get rid of the penalty. So I just hit S on this screen to set a skill target. Uh, as we train that, it will drop the spell failures. 
Speaking of which, I wish we had spells against the, the Willow that we just met. Uh, that's fine. This is why we have a... Oh, do we really not have any more Curare? <laughs> okay, so our Blowgun's useless. Um, that's fine. We have 12 Clouds charges. I wonder if we could just pacify the Orc Warlord. It's possible. Let's see. 17% chance. Oh, he has a long sword of distortion. Okay, he needs to die. Um, we could paralyze him um, if we used a vulnerability scroll. But I think... We don't have enslavement. I think if we use a one of clouds, we'll probably be fine. So I'm going to throw out some vapors as he approaches. And then once he's in cloud range, which is now... Yes, it could put me on a penance, it's fine. Oh, he has got a crossbow as well? How's that fair? Has a, a, a warlord with a distortion sword and a crossbow. So we can't fight him at range or in melee. Super unfair. Well, he just decided to walk into the clouds like an idiot. Um, let's throw more clouds at him. Alright, and let's try to walk away. Uh, can we paralyze this one in front of us? No. No. I just wanted to paralyze this wizard so it would be stuck here and make a blocker for the warlord. Okay, let's try again. Can we paralyze the regular orc? No. Can we please just... There we go. So now this regular orc is paralyzed in the way of the warlord. Um, we can do some poisonous vapors because it's smite targeted. And that way, hopefully the warlord can't either shoot us or hit us with distortion. Uh, as we're doing this, we're constricting this guy. So he is slowly dying. Oh, right. And this, this one down here, this mighty guy is hitting us with a... Um, Polum. How about I step back? Um, how about I pacify him? Because it's really annoying. Okay, good. Uh, and we're gonna Vapors again. I like how these other orcs have been clever enough to path around, but the warlord has not. Oh, there we go. He unparalyzed. Okay, we might need to do clouds again. I'm just gonna do it. This warlord isn't Someone we should mess around with. Uh, he's gonna distortion us, isn't he? We sort of don't have great plays. I'm just gonna throw out an ice blast. I hope that we can just finish him off. Our last charge. No, he. It's fine, he's poison and he's in the, the cold cloud and he's choosing to shoot us with the crossbow rather than run at us with the distortion. I changed my mind, he decided to run at us. Oh god, he pulled the distortion sword out. Oh god, okay. So, he could, hmm, he could banish us here. He's poison, he's in the freezing cloud and he's constricted. I think I just heal. And I hope that he just dies here. He didn't die, but he also didn't attack us, so that's nice. Uh, we're going to throw out our last Ice Blast. No, we're not. Oh god, okay, we got him. God, that was scary. Alright, we've got more things. There's the Wonder of Digging. I'm going to pick that up. Uh, really useful to have, especially here in... Orcish Mines, because um, we're slow, so we can't really run from stuff, but if we're anywhere near a wall, we can always dig a kill hole. That was really, really scary. We've not seen an ice cave, so I kind of want to keep both rings of ice. Uh, let me drop my weapon stuff, the brand weapon and the scroll of enchant weapon. 
and pick up the one of digging. There's also an acid wand here and some other random ones, but uh, I'm just going to mark those for now. We'll wait and see what our other shops are here in Orc before we spend all our gold. The file of floods can potentially be good too, but less exciting without evocations. Uh, weapon shop, nothing that we want. Yeah, what a nasty, nasty Orc Warlord. A crossbow and a melee weapon of distortion. That's rough. Uh, these stone walls here are indicating that our end vault is somewhere over here. So I'd kind of like to try to do the rest of the floor first. In case we do need to teleport out of the dangerous ending, um, I want to land places that are cleared. It's like we've more or less done that now. Um, I take it back. We haven't done this top bit. Uh, this is an opening into the vault anyway, so it's like it doesn't really matter. Or does it? <laughs> Nulls? Curious? I don't remember very commonly seeing null endings to orcish mines. Uh, there's a troll of the armor. Um, I quite like that on my hybrids. Uh, we might test that out, but first, man, that guy was tough. It still seems like it's a null ending. Weird. <laughs> Uh, we'll test it out at the end though, um, because against these orcs, I like having RF for these orc sorcerers, uh, because they have bolts of fire, so I'm just checking, paralysis is only a 3% chance here. Oh, I miscast poisonous vapors a bunch, oh, because, why, because of the shield, fair enough. Is there any point even trying for spectral weapon, 21%, yeah, okay, it worked. Um, and I'm going to do a Song of Sling here. There's our Elf Entrance. We're using our Stealth here just to pull enemies out one at a time. Uh, plain Battle Axe. <laughs> See how quickly he ran us down? Back up. Ugh. Shouldn't know I've tabbed in there. I got greedy. Okay, uh, Nagel is usually pretty fine, but she can go crazy if she summons a bunch of warlords and haste them. So you just sort of want to check what she's summoning. Uh oh, <laughs> we got another warlord. Um, he doesn't have a distortion weapon this time at least. But he's still probably really scary. I think we probably should clouds him again. Ugh. Man. It's the prompt. Okay, we've got a cloud of poison. It's probably one of the least exciting clouds we could have gotten, but still did the trick. Uh, 
That's Urug. Can we just pacify this guy? Get rid of his summons. 52%? Got it in one. Perfect. And Urug didn't realize how to follow us. It looks like the High Priest is fighting Urug right now. Maybe. Curious. Oh, the High Priest killed Urug? That's crazy. It looks like it because that was the broad axe that Urug had, I think. Yeah, the javelins. Wow. That pacified High Priest just killed Urug. I wonder if it summoned some demons, because that seems unusual. Well, in any case, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't really looking forward to that fight. Urug does quite a lot of damage from range with the javelins, and because we're a slow Naga, closing that distance could have been really painful. That was a dagger of drain, which is forbidden to us. I see an artifact cloak, which we're going to try probably. Um, a shop with a glowing scimitar for 200 gold. I think we could probably test that out. Uh, a scroll of blinking, yes please. Uh, a ring of protection from gold, which is just better than these rings of ice. So I think we'll probably do that. Uh, but I want to see what's in the other shop first, before I make such choices. Uh, there's a second scroll of immolation for pretty cheap. I'm going to instantly pick that up. Um, curing we have four of, that's not much. I'll pick up this fifth one as well. And a bookshop that has the Book of Burglary in it. Okay, uh, that's really exciting because Passager of Golubria and Passwall are both really good repositioning uh, things for us as a slow species. So let's put that on our shopping list. Uh, there's also the Book of Callings, which of course is the Summon Lightning Spire book. Um, I'm probably not going to do that, much like um, Confusing Touch that we found earlier. I I feel like it's just too strong, so it won't be very interesting. Um, and what else have we got? Book of Beasts, that one has Summon Mana Viper in it. That one we might want later. Fen Folio, Summon Forest, interesting. A bunch of interesting books here. And the Poisoner's Handbook, which I don't know that we need it, but Toxic Radiance is really nice. I think just using Poisonous Vapors in the Spider's Nest will be perfectly sufficient, even if it would be easier to just poison the whole screen at once. And let's see what else we've got here. A bunch of evil spells we can't use. Um, and frost. Meh. Alright, so that's it. So I think I'll leave those shopping decisions for the start of the next episode, uh, and we'll be trying to finish off dungeon before heading for our first room. See you then.